Hashtag Save Rec Room was all for clowns. The hashtag Save Rec Room floating around for a few days, but it wasn't until I saw a video that another RecTuber had promoted in a community post and I watched it through. But then it sounds like the intent was to actually crash the servers. Hashtag Save Rec Room is going to kill Rec Room. But what's not okay is trying to ruin a game's reputation with the goal of getting attention. And that's exactly what Toaster and the people supporting the hashtag Save Rec Room movement are doing. I'm sure there's some people watching this video who remember the old days of Rec Room when all this stuff didn't exist and all this drama and save Rec Room and everyone just kind of played Rec Room to enjoy themselves. But sadly, the past will always remain the past. So, recently a lot of Rec Room creators have been announcing the fact that they are quitting Rec Room and others have been addressing the fact that they're genuinely worried about this game's future. But in the midst of all of this, something else is arising. This is a story about an amazing idea gone very, very bad. Let's talk about how hashtag Save Rec Room turned its parts and fell to corruption. Just a little disclaimer before we begin this video. At the time of this video being published, the hashtag Save Rec Room movement has disbanded. This is not against anyone in the Save Rec Room movement or who was in it, and do not harass anyone mentioned in this video. I'll try getting links to the majority of the videos in this video used in the description. Also, sorry about my voice, I'm recording this the following morning and I do have COVID, so... Um, with a further ado, let's get going! Trying to find where Save Rec Room began is easier said than done. The earliest remnant I could find is from a Rex Hoover by the name of Buddish Narf Gaming, who is very popular for his music video called How to Save Rec Room, which is an absolute banger, by the way. Take a listen for yourself. Now your money hungry mouths we have to feed Rec Room, you went wrong with your awesome game Just look at what it became Hope this song has helped you see the doom Now you know how to save Rec Room Ugh, almost brought a tear to my eye but sadly, from here, a movement that could have actually worked and spread positivity to Rec Room and sent a message was turned sour by a few Rec Tubers who, according to the community, were just looking for clout. Just over three months after this video debuted, a Rec Tuber by the name of Toaster would take the ball and take it rolling. He made an announcement in his Discord server for the movement with a couple other Rec Tubers, I believe, that were helping about basically starting the movement and what their goals are, etc, etc. Sadly, I couldn't get an image of this announcement because they've shut their Discord off to invites for... Hmm, I wonder why. From eyewitness testimony, long story short, the announcement stated that he wanted everyone to get online on July 6th and go to the rec centres to fill them up. At first glance, you might think, oh, well, this just looks like some way to prove to the Rec Room devs that we're strong in numbers. Well, no, that wasn't the end goal. The actual end goal was to absolutely flood the Rec Centers and break Rec Room servers for about 10 minutes. But that's only the tip of the iceberg, because now this is where it starts to get controversial, if it didn't already. Just like my ex-girlfriend, hashtag save Rec Room wanted to step it up a notch and make themselves even more because known. Because somehow the leaders of this movement think that ruining Rec Room is going to save Rec Room somehow. So basically, hashtag save Rec Room were planning to review bomb this game on basically every platform to make its rating go down because somehow ruining Rec Room is supposed to save Rec Room. So I'm going to look into the leader's mind of this movement to kind of see if I can grasp at what the end goal here is. So save Rec Room constantly state how it's here to save Rec Room and help the community. But when you've got the most influential figures in this community, such as Fogloom and even the likes of Therapeutic, maybe it's pretty obvious to assume the community don't want you to do this. And follow on to my next point. Even if it ends up being successful and the review bomb is successful and everything like that, first of all, the servers will crash for like 10 minutes and then Rekker will be straight back up. And review bombing the game, which even successful, knowing how Rec Room are a 3.5 billion dollar company, they'll probably recover in no time. 
Besides, who even reads the reviews? And in one of Joppy VR's most recent videos, he mentions that this might just all be for clout. And honestly, you might find he may be onto something. I mean, first of all, 9 out of 10 Rec Room players will agree save Rec Room is just a bit silly. And seeing how Toaster hasn't been as relevant in recent days as he used to be, starting a rebellion of this size is definitely a way to get your name out in the open again. Personally, I don't think this is very likely, but of course, this is all up to speculation. Let me know on your opinion on this in the comments below. But lucky for us, we did actually get a response from Tosa. Of course, it's pretty long, so I'm going to read it out for you. I would like to address the recent claims about my character as a person and my involvement in the movement. There is technically no way for me to prove that my words and actions are incapable of hurting the emotions of others. I cannot control how others feel, in which they are valid feeling. I acknowledge that I might appear narcissistic, but that is completely not my intention. Additionally, I never had any intention whatsoever to control others. I am not a manipulative person, nor will I ever be. And all the comments regarding my character are not true at all. If I come across as narcissistic or manipulative in the future, please let me know as I have, will have, and never had any intention of being any of those things. I acknowledge, now there's a popular Rectuber, my words have power. Regarding the My Little Monsters trailer launch, I was told to make an announcement to comment hashtag save Rec Room by the general chat. I had assumed it wouldn't be that many people who would actually go and comment. However, that was a clear proven to be a misjudgment. Once I noticed things were getting out of hand, I tried to ask people to calm down, but unfortunately, the damage was done. And in this other part, Toso just kind of says that it's everyone else's fault, but like, I don't know how to feel on this, because there's no evidence to back this. Rectuber, known as Therapeutic, has also started her own little movement called Hashtag Recrum Community Goals, which seems to be just a more logical way of actually getting Rec Room to listen to our concerns. With rumours of Toaster actually quitting, to July 6th only being on our doorstep. Let's hope this movement is actually over. Of course, I've been working this for a couple days, but as I'm aware from yesterday, this movement did shut down permanently. So together, let's hashtag actually save Rec Room instead of ruining it. We care, you care, they care. We can do this together. All it takes is a little bit of partnership and a little bit of hope. It won't be too hard. As long as we work together and get through this, anything is possible. We did it once, why can't we do it again? And for everyone else, that was your host here, Wannabe Wizard, reporting on this situation. And I'll see you guys on the next one. With that... Play the outro! Yeah. Hey, I'm Wanna Be Wizard, and thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to check out more, check out one of the videos on the screen. If not, please subscribe, because uh, it helps out a lot. A lot more than you think. Anyway, thank you again, and I will see you very, very soon. With that, um, oh yeah. Bye!